Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is uh, open Sony Vegas. And once that is opened, you'll want to go to the folder with the videos you want to edit. Uh, here are the two I've selected. So you just want to highlight both of them and then drag them from your Explorer window into the Project Media window inside of uh, Sony Vegas. And once that's done, you want to select the first of the two clips, drag it and drop it down onto uh, the video track. And then the second video, you then want to drag onto another separate track. For example, I'm going to be using the video overlay track. Uh, now I'm not going to be using any sound in this video, so I'm going to select the voice track here and click the mute button. That stops all sound. Um, I'm just going to move the cursor to a point where I know both videos will be playing. And then I'm going to select the one of the videos. Uh, I'm going to be using the top one to begin with. And uh, click on track motion. You then want to click on the top left hand corner of the square that appears in the new window and you want to drag it down and to the right this will shrink the video you want to have it around about half its size or less once that is done you can just select and make sure your cursor is within the in th within the box so it's blue and then just click and drag it to the left that will move the entire clip over to the left hand side of the of the rendering area uh, once you've done that make sure your Y position is set to zero this will make sure it's centralized on the on the Y axis uh, once you've done that I'll just close it and then select the other video track uh, so this is the video track for me track 3 and then do the same, click on track motion then want to drag this down to around about the same kind of value and then move it across to the right like so it's a bit hard to tell where I am here, there we go so I'll just go back to that now and resize that appropriately as you can see It's now just a case really of tweaking it so you're using as much of the, the width space as possible so there's no black lines in between the clips uh, which will mean you'll have the biggest kind of video you possibly can uh, so what I usually do is I copy uh, the height value then close that window and go to the other the other clip again and go to track motion and I'll paste that height value directly into there and then I'll just have to uh, move it slightly to the left as you can see my y-axis on the other clip isn't quite right so I'll just readjust that like so and there you have it, the two videos are now next to each other That is it. Right. Cheers, guys.